Reporting groups are an excellent way to help configure reports and get the most important information for you out of Review 360. In the Account Preferences under your name in the upper right corner, there is a tab called Reporting Groups. A reporting group can be a filtered list of students, say students A through M, or all third graders, or all kids at a specific school. Use the Create Filter list to create this type of list, and select the filter you want to apply. An ad hoc reporting group is a group of kids that you select one at a time. This might be a social skills group or a counseling group. Use the Create Ad Hoc List button to create this type of list and add the students one at a time. In the widgets on the dashboard, use the cog icon to apply your reporting group. If you travel to multiple campuses, you can create a reporting group for each campus and then apply the reporting group to the widget when needed. Many of the reports in Review 360 also allow you to use the reporting groups. The Incidents by Behavior report is an example. Select the report from the Analysis tab and Incidents. And then at the top of the report, select the Reporting Group from the Reporting Group drop-down and then click the View button. Once a report is configured, it can be saved and added to the dashboard. Saved reports can also be emailed on a recurring basis. Reports that are displayed on your dashboard offer immediate analysis of your data. Check out the Reporting Groups and Email Schedule tabs in the Account Preferences under your name in the upper right corner to get the data you need when you need it.